In this video, we'll be going over how to create binary attitude quaternion spice kernels and how to use them in Cosmographia. So we'll start out with a simple case of a spacecraft pointing nadir, then tracking its solar panels with the sun. In the next video, we'll go over pointing at points on Earth defined by latitude longitude coordinates, like in the scene on the right. There are a number of different spice kernels that we need to create an attitude quaternion kernel using the spice utility predict. And we can take a look at the command line arguments that predict expects by saying predict dash h. Starting with furnish, which is a text meta kernel that points to all the necessary spice kernels that need to be loaded to compute the spacecraft attitude. Spec is a text specification file that outlines the time sequence of the spacecraft attitude. CK specs is a name of the output kernel that we want. Tall is how well the kernel should fit the analytic description of the spacecraft attitude, where the default unit is in degrees. And SCLK slash SCLK is a spacecraft clock kernel. And for this case, we're going to use the most basic form of a spacecraft clock kernel that will be auto-generated by predict, so we don't need to worry about it here. So first, we'll start with the metakernel that is named sc-metakernel.tm here. And metakernels contain a variable called kernels to load that are used to specify spice kernels that should be furnished in order to do all the calculations that we require. And in this scene, we want to be able to compute the position of the spacecraft, the Earth, and the Sun. And for that reason, we need DE432S, which we do not include in this GitHub repository because it's a very large file, but can be downloaded from the NAIF website, and we'll have a link in the description to that. SC.BSP contains a trajectory data for the spacecraft, and SCFrame.TF is a text kernel that defines a spacecraft body frame spice ID, name, and associated ephemeris object, and spacecraft clock. And note that these meta kernels do not accept environment variables, so we cannot use the Cosmo demos environment variable that we are used to using in the bash scripts. So here, the path to DE432 is a relative path in the directory that this file is in. Now for the text frame kernel, which is scframe.tf. We start by defining the spice ID we want to give the frame and its string name with the first two variables here in the file. And by convention, since the spacecraft ephemeris data has spice ID negative 999, we use negative 999,000 for the frame ID. Next is the frame class, which is three in this case, since we are creating a CK based frame. By convention, we're setting the class ID to be the same as the body frame ID, but this is not necessary in all cases. The center of the frame is negative 999, since that is the spice ID associated with the trajectory data. And the last two arguments are required for CK kernels, which specify the spacecraft clock and the ephemeris object that this frame should be associated with. And both in this case, again, are negative 999. And now we get to the main script that defines the spacecraft orientation with respect to time. So on the left is the orientation.predict script, and on the right is a predict documentation, which will also have a link in the description too. So we start by setting the first two CK, SCLK, and SBK variables, which by convention are set to what the documentation says. Next, we define direction vectors that we are going to use when describing the full spacecraft body frame. And in our case, we are interested in the vectors pointing from the spacecraft to the Earth, which is nadir, and the sun vector. Then we want to define orientations that the spacecraft will be in using primary and secondary vectors, as we used to seeing from the previous videos in this series. And again, in this scene, for nadir pointing, we want the primary to be the body x-axis pointing towards the Earth, and the secondary z-axis pointing as close as it can to the sun. And opposite for the solar panels tracking the sun, the sun vector is going to be the primary and the nadir vector is a secondary. Next, we define the CK frame spice ID the same as we did in the text frame kernel. And finally, we define the time sequence of the spacecraft attitude. The simplest way to define the orientation is by simply using the name given in the orientation name variable above, a beginning time and an ending time. But in this case, we're using the method of solution to SC body frame to show that predict is also capable of indirectly solving for spacecraft attitude when there are multiple reference frames that are defined for a body, like an instrument reference frame, as well as the spacecraft body reference frame. But for this application and what we're showing, it is exact same thing to just say solar panels to sun like this. <laughs> 
And note that in these definitions, there are gaps between the previous phase stop and the next phase start. So this way, predict will fill the gap with a minimum slew segment connecting those orientations. So once we have all our spice kernels ready, we can use the predict utility to create the attitude quaternion kernel and the default spacecraft clock kernel. So we'll start by saying predict dash H just to see what we need here. So we start with predict furnish, which is going to be that meta kernel. So we have SC meta kernel dot TM dash spec is going to be the orientation script dash CK. We'll just say for now test because we already have one output. It's going to be the SC orientation dot BC. So we'll just say test orientation kernel dot BC for binary C kernel. Then we have tall, let's just say one degree. And by default, if you just put a number, the default units are degrees, but you can also say something like arc seconds. And then we'll say new SCLK, since we're gonna have a new spacecraft clock that's just going to be auto-generated. And then we need the name of that clock. So again, test spacecraft clock dot text spacecraft clock and enter. Then it creates all those quaternions. And then if we see here, we have the test orientation kernel and the test spacecraft clock. And once we created those kernels, we can go ahead with all the scripts that we're used to seeing. So for the Spice catalog, we've here created the kernels directory that just contains all those kernels just for cleanliness sake because there's so many of them. So we have the kernels, which is this is trajectory data defining the spacecraft body frame. This is the attitude quaternion kernel, and this is the spacecraft clock. And then for the spacecraft catalog, we just need to define that the body frame is going to be of type spice and it's SC body frame. Since that is a name that was defined in the SC frame.tf kernel. So that's it for this video. And in the next one, we'll be going over a more complex scene that points at three different targets on Earth's surface defined by latitude and longitude coordinates.